Hey everybody, so here I am, I'm going to show you my own home gym and then uh, maybe you get ideas for how to set up your own home gym. I'll show you the things that I have that allow me to not uh, have to go to a commercial gym and train and other things to make the environment more training friendly because environment is everything. A lot of people send me pictures and videos of their home gym and it's in their laundry room or it's cluttered among in their office surrounded by other things and other distractions and that's not good. So this room, uh, come on in, this room was eventually under my garage. Just an empty cemented room um, that was under my garage and wasn't really a room at all. So I'm going to show you, first thing I did was put in rubber floors and that made it more gym-like instead of slippering around on the cement. And then you'll see as I go through, not just my equipment, but I also made it gym environment friendly. What do I mean by that? Well, I put on old posters of some of my appearances on the wall. I put old pictures of stuff on my wall. I made it gym friendly. I'm not surrounded by work. I'm not surrounded by other distractions. Even these, if you'll see, this black tarp that I put goes into my other room, into my furnace room. If you want to follow me a little bit, you'll see that there was nothing there before except going right into my furnace room and so I put a black black backdrop up to make it more encapsulated okay so that it would have a more friendly gym environment alright so you environment is everything if you're going to be consistent with training at home now other things okay here's some things that I added let's get to the equipment a whiteboard if you're going to do circuits are you going to do for instance, I do a lot of single-sided work, and sometimes I lose track of what set I am on because I'm doing a left side uh, in one part of a circuit and a right side later. So a whiteboard, if you can hang one, comes in handy. And then all the usual things. I've got a mat. I've got an adjustable bench. All right. Over here, you see I've got a fan. All right. For, and I turn that on every day so it keeps the climate adjusted. I've got tubing that I seldom use anymore. But as you see, I've got hooks, so I can do low, medium, and high attachments. Um, and I use those, and i got th places to hang things. So i got my rope attachment here. i got my ankle attachment to do leg extensions. But they're not just strewn about the floor. It takes nothing more than attaching the hook, all right, from Home Depot, and then you've got a place to hang things, all right? I've got other attachments that are out of the way, as you can see. I've got blocks that I can use for creating inclines and declines, all right? And that can also serve to put, like, my sweat towel, my power straps. Now, this I really love. This is my functional trainer, which has basically displaced my need for tubing, all right? A functional trainer allows you to mimic almost any exercise of a machine orientation in a gym. And you can mimic anything cable-oriented or machine-oriented. A good functional trainer goes east to west in terms of um, ranges of motion and it also goes north to south in terms of range of motion. So combine that with my bench for instance, I can put my bench in here, I can do a seated chest press, I can move the arms out wide, I can do a seated chest fly, I can do reverse flies, there's nothing, almost no machine that I can't mimic with a functional trainer. So it's a very good investment for a home gym. And as you can see, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Moving on, I've got some stability balls. I've got step risers if I ever need them. I've got dipping bars. And you can also use these for recline rows. All right, they don't take, as you can see, don't take up much space at all. In terms of uh, space saving, here you got the selectorized dumbbells. So if you want to zoom in on the selectorized dumbbells, what you see is I can go from from 5 pounds all the way to 52.5 pounds, all right, just by turning my selector, all right, and then whatever I turn it to, for instance, this is 12 and a half pounds, it comes right out at 12 and a half pounds, and I can go all the way up to 52, and then I don't need 10 sets of dumbbells, okay, another version of selectorized dumbbells is what's called power blocks, and the power blocks work along the same principle except you just use this insert into the power blocks and this one goes anywhere from 20 pounds 
all right? And it goes up in 10 pound increments all the way to 90 pounds, all right? And again, not taking up much space at all, all right? And you should always buy um, stands for dumbbells so they're not just strewn on the floor. You've got a very safe place to pick them up and put them back and you're not making a mess. I got a stand for my medicine balls and then I have one more rack of heavy dumbbells that I seldom use anymore because I'm not the man I used to be. But they're here and I use them for specific movements. So I've got actual three sets of dumbbells. So if I'm doing complexes or circuits, I have lots to choose from and I can leave them in space the more I need. Combine that with the functional trainer, okay, and the options are endless. You don't need a gym. So you're saving time to and from the gym and back and clean up, etc. And then little spaces to hide things you wouldn't even be aware of. More, more straps over here. Push-up bars that I could just hang along an already existing beam. So you use what you already have. So you don't need a lot of space, as you can see. This is barely a couple hundred square feet. And I train here all the time. And the functional trainer has really added to the versatility of the home gym. So if you can get one of those, great. But if you can't, this gives you some ideas. Create the right environment. Have it well lit. Have the climate right, okay? And make sure that you have enough uh, space and just get started. Add a little bit at a time, but really enhance that environment for training. So send us in pictures of your own home gym. If you have any questions, just send them to admin at scottablefitness.com and uh, look forward to seeing your own home gym environments. But this is a good way to get started.